Hey, this is Johnny from Antiquiet down at the Echo in Los Angeles, and we're about to interview Dan Lissac and Scroobius Pitt. Guys, would you Hello. do us the honor of introducing each other for me? That is Dan Lissac. Oh, that's Scroobius Pitt. Yeah, Excellent. You, you nailed it, it. it, to be honest. Good work. Feels good. I just thought you might have a li <laughs> little bit more of an inflection to put on it. It sounds oh, better oh, British. Oh, Dan makes all the beats and stuff, so I give uh, a bit of a description there. You can the words. Thou shalt not steal if there is a direct victim. Thou shalt not worship pop idols or follow lost prophets. Now, we did an interview about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, and you were talking about the state of uh, things in the industry here in America today yeah. versus over in England. Now that you've been here for a little while on tour, has your perception evolved a little bit? Um, my perception, like from the whole tour, all I've really been able to evolve my perception of is the different hotels and motorways in America, because yeah, that's yeah. all we've seen. So, yeah, no, it's, it's not changed much at all. So sadly. you haven't immersed yourself in the culture too much? No, I mean, all I've been getting into is is, is the amazingly exciting uh, 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 politics that's going on. Oh, the yeah. We've never, had, like in the UK, it's never this exciting. It's never this, you know, there's elections and that, but it's never been so... This is just crazy and exciting. Like politicised politics of this. Ameri America. In America is, it seems so much like America is just on the cusp of becoming good. It could become really good. So, yeah, if you like cartoons, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it could get there. Yeah. What do you think it would take to make America good? A lot more concrete. A lot more concrete. Like a really big skate park. Just knock out one state and put a massive skate park in it. And then bring in tourists. Helmets or mountains? No helmets, no. come on, it ruins it, it takes all the soul out of the game. And, um, you always gotta have the fucking loser right? walking. You just asked me for Perfect. 30 fucking cents, man, I'm aware of Burger King. I need a cigarette, kid. dude. I don't have a fucking cigarette, bro. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. do a bit of an interview come right now. Yeah. Introduce yourself, so good, what's your name? So, dude, I'm David. I used to work here for 10 years, but I, got, I went to jail. You got fired, and all of a jail. sudden, nobody knows me. Coming out that's of the no woodwork, guys. Man, that's no Fuck good. everybody. Now, how would you describe your live show to some of you guys haven't seen it? Two um, dudes on a stage. Yeah. yeah. And you make the beats. I make the and beats. I do the you words. Do? You I do, do the words. Oh, okay. All right. No, it's, 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 it's good. I oh, found so said we try and put just some some light heartedness and entertainment into it and make it enjoyable because we in, in in the lyrics there are some really s s serious subjects and quite harsh stuff. So we don't want people to just stand there all night going and getting depressed or miserable or going away going that was clever I wanted to go away that was a good night I've, had a, I've paid for a night like, out I've had a night out like a sad clown eating a really nice sandwich <laughs> like sad but he can't you help but feel warm if you always think of it like that always so always, always think of it like that so if you think we've got a gig tonight clown sandwich yeah. <laughs> yeah. now there is a certain a certain kind of socially conscious weight to your lyrics how do you bring that to the stage without like you said bumming everybody out or bringing it brings graphs pie charts yeah I just make stupid statistics. jokes and talk r rubbish and it, in, it, it works like a doubly because in a way it makes it easier to swallow because it's a bit more light hearted building up to it but also it makes it all the more impactful kind of thing because you've joked a bit and then suddenly bang something really serious on the table so it seems to balance out and if, if it, it doesn't, I'll do some like slapstick and fall over and stuff and try and lighten <laughs> things. Now, how do crowds, crowds differ between uh, the US and your hometowns? I said it's impossible to say because each state we play in or each place we play in in the US is the size of the UK. So it's so varied around the whole of America kind of thing. It's like playing in the UK, the, the different crowds are the equivalent of the different venues in LA mm. coming that's that's like the variation in the whole of England so it's just it's great to just get around and see all these different places it's my dad I've got to go oh. <laughs> <laughs>